Good morning, everybody. I got up before the kids. I davened. Uh, it's important for me to get up early before everyone. This way I can have a little bit of time before the crazy day starts. I was able to do it this morning. I'm not able to do it every morning because I go to sleep extremely late nowadays after recovering from days like these. So this is a really good parenting hack. Make the sippy cups before they get up if you could. Mess quick. Ugh. They'll come with me and I'm gonna do wake up. Now it's time for me to do the wake up. I do the morning run every morning. So a hey, uh, come along. <laughs> Good morning. Time to get up. Hey, are you climbing out of your crib? What is going on here? She's climbing out. Whoa. <laughs> you okay? Good morning, Moshiko. <laughs> Good morning. Poker Tov, you let him. I knew I had a clown in my crib. I'm going to leave her alone. She gets up on her own. Oh. Good morning. Pay no attention to the trashed house. No cleaning help. We're trying. But it's like working on quicksand. Too tired to walk. You too tired to walk? Boom, boom, boom. Welcome back to the Sussman family vlog. We have another exciting episode. What? We were just hijacked. We have another exciting episode coming up. And we hope you enjoy this, everybody. So, a lot's changed since the last vlog. Now all the kids are doing Zoom learning all day long. I'm dealing with Zoom sessions. We set the kids up with makeshift stations, see? Boom, put a table in the room. He's on Zoom, now he's workstation. Some of the schedules are so complicated, you need to be like a PhD in Harvard in order to figure out, look at the schedule. Yes. Yesterday I almost broke down in tears trying to follow all the schedules with five kids and five schedules and more tablets in the house to accommodate. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in class? Aren't you supposed to be in school? I'm ditching. What? What? How can you ditch school? You need to be there on time. I'm sending you to the principal. What's he gonna say? Just don't be late next for class next time. So it's 10 o'clock. I'm in a full-blown sweat. I've been up and down the stairs like 100 million times trying to get everyone logged into the Zoom. And this girl over here is bored most of the day. She's really got nothing to do. And it's tough on her. But kids are really resilient. I'm sure she'll make it out of this. Okay, but I hope I make it out alive. I hope I make it out alive. Yummy, yummy, my dummy. It's 10, 25, 16, 17, 18, 25. Sitting down to eat a bowl of cereal. I get to eat, eat something. First time I've been sitting since I got up this morning. Ho <laughs> ho Stop saying ho 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 in your video. We got an Amazon package. You know what the problem with Amazon is? There's really just one problem with Amazon. It's like a jungle. It's like an Amazon jungle. That was a joke. I know. It's really not that funny. What just happened in real time was is after I got the package, I'll show you what was in it in a minute, but I totally flipped out on my kids for jumping all over me. We had a little. We definitely did. We had a little meltdown. Both Abba, Maishi, Nachi, not really, right? And a, uh, but we're back in action, right guys? No yeah. hard feelings? No mm hard -hmm. feelings. No hard feelings, okay. No more feelings guys, okay. and you can feel happy. That's so happy. let me show you what we got in this package now. Now that we are back, we got a gallon water bottle, the biggest water bottle you've ever seen in your entire life. Honestly, it's giant in real life. We have no taste and he cannot drink this much a day. He barely even drinks a water I bottle. I have no faith, but the reason why I got this was is because I find myself very tired and I don't drink enough. 
So I looked up online, I'm supposed to be drinking about a gallon of water every day. Okay, you guys think I'm gonna be able to finish this by the end of the day? What do you guys think? No faith, no faith. But you gotta stay hydrated. Oh yeah. So I'm making lunch over here. And uh, what we got is we're gonna have noodles with a olive oil sauce that I'm making with peppers and onions. Hashtag Ava Chef. If you're wondering what that flag is, it's because today is Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israeli Independence Day. When the Turks were controlling the land, they surveyed the land, they did census. They came out with that the entire land of Israel could only sustain and support 600,000 people. Nowadays, there's six million people living in the land of Israel because the land only gives forth its blessing once the Jews resettle the land. So we're privileged to be living in this amazing times that we're able to resettle the ancient ruins of old. Additionally, the Gemara in Sanhedrin says, what's one of the signs of the final redemption? What's one of the signs of Mashiach? It says when vineyards grow in the showroom. For over 2,000 years, they couldn't get anything to grow in the showroom. But now there are some of the best wines on earth come from the showroom over there. This past piece got a wine from Meiron, from Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai land, from the mountains of Meiron, or Haganuz. It's amazing. Happy Yom Mansmoot, everyone. Oh, look who just pulled home. Look who just came home. Look who just... Hello there, young lady. Hello. Hello. I think you forgot to put the car on. <laughs> Got nervous on camera. What do you have to say for yourself? How are you doing? Doing it as best as I can. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. I finally get a few... I get about an hour to myself right now. During this time, I'm going to learn the Daf Yomi, the page a day. I'm going to say the daily Tehillim, Psalms. A lot of people need a healing and the daily Likute Tefillahs from Rev Nussin of Breslov. Something that I've been thinking about is, is that on one hand, what's going around is everyone saying, oh, we're all in the same boat to this together. But on the other hand, people are saying, what do you mean? We're not all in the same boat. Do you know what I'm going through? And I really think that both are true because uh, on one hand, you know, we're all in this together. And on the other hand, we all experience life differently through the prism of our mind's eye. So it's true, our experiences are unique to ourselves. For me, I just see that when I view my pain as personal in particular, that exacerbates the pain. But when I see my pain and suffering in the context of the human condition, that makes it so much easier because it becomes about the human experience and not about my personal pain. Hi. <sighs> How am I doing? Look, guys, that's a lot of water. I'm drinking a lot of water so far and I'm not even done with the day. Montes. Here we go. Miss Effie doing laundry? Yes, I am. And what do you have to say about doing laundry? It never ends. Now, you love folding clothing, don't you? No. What? You don't love folding clothing? Come on, you love doing the laundry. I like buying clothing. My mother and father call us pigs because they think it has to look like a palace. The whole house has to look like a palace. Okay, Effie, I think you need to have some honest words with the camera. Please tell the camera what you're thinking, what's on your mind in this very moment. That I never have a free second. You never, what's that like for you? Exhausting. So what advice can you give to our listeners over here that doesn't have a free second? What, what, what can you say about this? I don't have advice. Just hang on. That's it. There's no advice. That's it. Are you hanging on? Right now, no. Right Not now, at no. the moment. It's official. She's hanging on. <laughs> okay, everybody, because we are indoors, the kids don't have gym, the weather is pretty bad outside. We've taken up daily yoga. We got all these yoga mats. Everyone's got their own yoga mat. And every day we've been doing yoga for about a half hour to 45 minutes. We've been watching this guy online on YouTube. His name is Patrick Beach. And his vinyasas and andale andales are phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, <sighs>
I just finished a few clients and therapy sessions for the night. And for those who held on to their therapists during this time, kudos to you. I'm sure it was more than helpful. It is 8.19 at night. I've been chugging away on this the entire day. And you can be with me for the closing moments. That is one gallon completely finished. This should be day number one of me doing this. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, push that like, forward to a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.